guys, welcome back to English class. And have you guys noticed that we've been talking so much about things that God has created because we know that God created all things or he only created some things. No, right? He's created all things for us to use and to see and to hear. But let's go to today's date and then we'll get into today's class. So here we have our wonderful calendar, you guys. And we noticed that what? That we said goodbye to July. Bye, July. Mm -hmm. And our new month is the month of August. Everybody say it with me, August. And so let's spell this word together so that we can start practicing, right? So August is A-U-G-U-S-T. August. One more time. A-U-G-U-S-T. August. Awesome job, you guys. So, putting that together, today is Tuesday, August the 4th, 2020. And so, the teacher was just mentioning something, right? I said that we've been talking about things that God has created. And so, if you guys see here on the board, I wrote God's creation. What did I write? God's creation. And so, some of the things that we've been talking about have been... When God created you, I mean, He created me. Remember that we started talking about what? The birthday parties, happy birthday, and every year we get to sing happy birthday to you. But who created you and who created me? God did. Awesome job. But then you guys, we noticed something else. That we were talking about families. Because God created families. He wanted you and me to have someone to what? To love and take care of us. And so God gave us what? Beautiful families. But we remember that every family is different, right? Some families are small, some families are big. Some people have one brother, two brothers, one sister, two sisters, right? So each family looks different, but we know that God gave us families to what? To love us and to take care of us. Great job. And then we remember that we just finished talking about what? Animals. And so we what? We learned about zoo animals and we learned about animals that we can find where? On the farm. So we talked about zoo animals, farm animals, but we remember that who created these animals? God did. Great job, you guys. And the last thing, we've been learning so many words, right? You guys have been reading stories every week after every class, but you guys, who do you think created words? for us to communicate. Uh -huh. God did too, you guys. He gave us a voice to speak and to share about different things, right? And how do we do that? We use different words. So we've been learning beginning letters, we've been learning about beginning sounds, and so many different words. But guess what, you guys? Today I have a very special guest. And this guest, he's coming from, oof, he's coming from really, 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 Okay, and he's going to share a story with us about creation. Because what do we say? That God created what things? He created all the things, right? So he's going to share the story with us about creation. And after he finishes the story, you guys are going to review what things did God create. So let's go to today's surprise guest. Hello guys, my name is Pablo. I'm nine years old and I live in Miami. Today we're gonna read the Bible and we're gonna read the story of how God created heaven and the earth. The first seven days, Genesis chapters one two, and two. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. All was dark and empty, so God said, let there be light, and there was light. He called the light day, and the darkness light night. And that was the first day. Then God said, let there be bodies of water, and above them a sky. And it was so. That was the second day. On the third day, God said, let dry ground appear. He called the dry ground land, and the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. He said, let plants and trees grow up all over the land. Give them seeds to make more plants and trees. And it was so. 
On the fourth day, God made two great lights, the larger one to rule the day and the smaller one to rule the night. And he also made the stars. He set them all in the sky to give light to the earth. Then God said, let there be waters filled with fish and let there be birds with wings to fly above the earth. And that was the fifth day. On the sixth day, God made animals to live on land. He made sheep and cattle. He made creatures that move along the ground. He made wild animals of every size and shape. And then he said, let us make people in like in our kindness and let them roll over the fish and birds all and all other living creatures so he made man god saw all that he made and it was very good on the seventh day he rested so you guys wasn't that super awesome yeah did you guys notice something who was reading what did he say his name was he said his name was pablo great job and he said that he was how old who remembers that he was very good you guys that he was nine years old awesome job and you guys he was sharing about creation right so what did he mention that on day one god created what he created night and he created day and on day two he created the what the sea and the sky yep awesome job you guys on day three what did he create he created the land and the trees uh-huh he created the trees all around us on day four you guys what did he create he created the sun and the moon and the stars awesome job you guys on day five he created the what the fishes and the birds oh you guys are doing really great that means you were listening on day six it talks about him what that god created animals that what that can walk all over the earth but he created something else super special there were two people the first one was called adam the second one was eve but what are they they're people just like you and me right so god created animals that walk and people too awesome job and then you guys who remembers on day seven what happened did god create more things Mm -mm. It says that he what? That he was finished. He said it was good. And that he what? He, he rested. Mm -hmm. So after a long week of working, it says that he what? He, he rested. Awesome job. And do you guys notice something? Because we said it was in seven days. And where else do we see seven days? We see seven days up here. Mm -mm next to the teacher on the right on the left on the right you guys are so correct here on our calendar we notice that in one week there are seven days so it says that god created all of these wonderful things in how many days in seven days awesome what else did we notice because our special guest you guys i'm going to tell you who he was right that was my come closer you guys that was my do you guys guess already not yet that was my nephew, you guys. And so, guess what? He was sharing this story with you. But we remember what? That we've also been reading stories, you guys. You've been doing an amazing job reading stories. And do you guys know something? That you guys, on Thursday, you guys finished reading 10 different stories. How many? 10 different stories. You guys, let's count. The first one, you guys, we read this one together. And it was called The Cat Sat. And then we read story number two, you guys. This one was called Sam Has Ham. We sure did. Story number three, you guys, was called Dan Ran. Mm -hmm. Story number four was Dad is Mad. Mm -hmm. Story number five was Tap on a Map. Story number six, Tag on a Bag. Story number seven, wow. Story number seven, Hot Pot. Story number eight, do you guys remember? The dog and the log, yep. Story number nine, you guys, hop, hop, hop. And story number 10, which was the last story that you read was, what, who remembers? A wet pet. 
So you guys, you've been doing an amazing job, everybody. Give yourself a clap. Awesome job, you guys. You've been reading. You've been doing such a great job. And we've been focusing on what? On the title of the story, on the word families, and we've been drawing a picture, right? So guess what? For the next unit, because remember that this unit is finished today, then we're going to review for our what? For the exams, which is just a review. So don't get nervous, okay? We're gonna do a great job on Thursday. We're going to go over everything, 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 everything to get you guys ready, okay? So no worries, but the next group of stories, you guys, is going to be super awesome because guess what? The teacher is going to leave you questions. Questions, teacher? Mm-hmm. So questions for you to answer from the story. That means that we have to be watching, listening, reading, right? Reading so that we can what? Answer the questions. So I know you guys are going to do an awesome job. You guys have already been doing an awesome job, right? And so guess what? Now we're going to finish by what? By saying thank you God for creating me. Thank you God for creating the world all around me. Thank you for creating families and animals and words for us to share. You are so good. We love you. Thank you for loving us. In your name we pray, amen. Awesome job you guys. So I'll see you on Thursday. Remember that on Thursday we're going to what? We're going to review, review, review so that we're ready for our exams. You guys are going to do great, okay? So, see you guys what? See you guys on Thursday. Bye, you guys. Love you. In the beginning, God made everything. Everything In the beginning God made everything Everything Sing it out! On day one God made the night and day On day two God made the sky and sea On day three God made the land and trees On day four Everything, everything, yeah, in the beginning.